Welcome to the next episode of the Dark Web Deacon. Before we begin, be sure to smash that subscribe button, click the bell to turn on notifications. New videos are published every Monday and Thursday, and as always, be sure to like and provide comments. Most of us have heard the term phishing related to cybersecurity and ID protection, but what about spear phishing? While phishing and spear phishing share similar techniques, they are not to be confused. Phishing is a generally exploratory attack that targets a broader audience, while spear phishing is a targeted version of phishing. They are different in the sense that phishing is a more straightforward attack. Once information such as bank credentials are stolen, the attackers have pretty much what they intended to get. Spear phishing is a targeted attempt to steal sensitive information such as account credentials or financial information from a specific victim often for malicious reasons. This is achieved by acquiring personal details on the victim such as their friends, hometown, employer, locations they frequent, and what they often buy online. The attackers then disguise themselves as a trustworthy friend or entity to acquire sensitive information, typically through email or other online messaging. This is one of the most successful forms of acquiring confidential information on the internet. The average impact of a successful spear phishing attack is $1.6 million, according to a 2016 FireEye report against businesses that have been exploited through spear phishing attacks. So how does spear phishing work? Spear phishing focuses on specific individuals or employees within an organization and social media accounts such as Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn to specifically customize accurate and compelling emails. These emails contain infected attachments and links. Once the link is opened, it executes malware that leads the target to a specific website. The attackers can then establish their networks and move forward with a targeted attack designed to infect other consumers or employees or infiltrate the consumer's device or the company's network. There are a few simple ways to defend against spear phishing attacks. As a consumer, Think twice before clicking on a link or opening an attachment from someone you don't know or don't expect. Also, be careful of the volume of personal information you post to social media, as this data can definitely seed future spear phishing attacks. As a business, because email is the most common entry point of these type of attacks, it is important to secure against likely spear phishing attacks by having software that scans company emails before they arrive at an employee's inbox to filter them out. Employee education is also extremely critical to combat different phishing techniques. Train employees to spot misspellings, odd vocabulary, and other indicators of suspicious email that could prevent a successful spear phishing attack. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like, subscribe, and provide comments, and turn on notifications by clicking the bell in order to check out future videos published twice a week.